Hey everybody, Shmurly World here. We're playing some Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This is one of my all-time favorite games. Comes straight out of the quote-unquote golden era of gaming, that 8-bit, 16-bit era where games didn't have a lot, you couldn't put a lot into games to like make them long and padded out, so you had to make them super compelling to play. And boy, does this game masterfully pull that off. It's all about quick timing and reflexes and pattern recognition. And, oh boy, it's just, it's a really great game. I recommend anyone try it out. So, now that I'm fighting Glass Joe to start, he's kind of a pushover, and he's not the most difficult guy to fight. So I want to talk for a minute about the kind of direction I want to take my YouTube channel in. So I started out by just uploading a bunch of videos, and it turned out most of them were going to be uh, Rocket League because I started playing it and I was so hooked, and that's all I wanted to play for a while. And I wanted to start, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while, and I finally got the push from a friend to just start uploading things. And that gets, that kind of got the ball rolling, you know? I started uploading things, and now it's like I want to, and they weren't edited or anything, so it wasn't like the best of quality, and the commentary, I don't know, wasn't the best, but I just wanted to start doing it, because now that I've started it, I can sort of, like, the ball has gotten rolling, and now I just need to start working on improving the quality of my content, you know, and then get my channel to be into a spot where it wants to be, and I've done a lot of thinking about, like, the types of, game, types of games that I like to play. And it, while I, it's not that I don't like like modern new games, I'm not that much of a hipster. I just my passion lies with the old school quote like retro consoles, uh, the NES and the SNES specifically. I'm kind of an old school Nintendo fanboy. I collect a lot of retro stuff. Uh, my SNES and NES collections are the biggest, but I also not to discredit Sega or Sony or anything. Uh, Dreamcast is also one of my favorite consoles, but yeah, I collect a bunch of old hardware and stuff, so like my passion really lies in the old stuff. So that's what I know a lot about, that's what I'm, I feel strongly about, that's what I like to play a lot. So I'm probably going to start doing more retro games, probably focus on the NES for a bit, because there's a lot of games I like to play. There's this, there's Jackal, Life Force. Star Force, I think, is another one. I can't remember if that's the proper title. Uh, there's just so many great games. So many of my favorite games come from the NES. Even, like, the old Metal Gear games are pretty sweet, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing with my channel. Is probably move more towards a retro focus. There's still going to be modern stuff, because, like, I do play new games a lot. But... I don't know, I like playing these more, I like talking about these games more, so it's probably going to be more retro stuff with some modern sprinkled in, and still probably collaboration with the Cyclone Ranger because, I don't know, we play games together and it's kind of fun sometimes. So now that that's out of the way, we can go back to talking about Punch-Out, which is just fantastically amazing. You get to go around fighting a from people, uh, peop you get to go around fighting people from across the world, and each enemy is like a nice racist caricature of whatever country they represent. Like, Glass Joe, who I just beat, was French, and haha, the joke is that the French are not good fighters, so he's obviously a pushover or something. So, I feel bad for that. Uh, this is Von Kaiser. Obviously, sounds like a pretty German name, but so I don't know. I, like Von Kaiser is so easily forgotten because in this fight, I don't think I ever, I don't think I have ever got to the second round against Von Kaiser because he's just. I think he's easier than Glass Joe, even. I guess maybe his punches might hurt a little more, but I don't know. Uh, so we're rising up real quickly, already at our first title bout against Piston Honda, who is obviously Japanese, from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, he, in the later games, in like the Super Nintendo uh, Super Punch-Out and the Super Punch-Out for Wii, they've changed his name to Piston Hondo. And I'm not sure if that's because there was 
a lawsuit against them, or Nintendo was worried that there'd be a lawsuit brought against them. But obviously, Honda is a car company, and they, or maybe they, they're, they make more than cars. But they're predominantly known for their cars, and I guess their generators and whatnot. But they would probably take offense to the fact that they had a guy named Piston Honda in their game. And that's one of the two name changes that I am aware of in this series, I guess. There's also, uh, in this game, there's Vodka, uh, sorry, there's uh, Soda Popinski, who is the gigantic pink Russian man. And in the original arcade release, his name was Vodka Drinkinski. And obviously the joke there is that the, the Russians drink a lot, so let's make fun of them for it. But I think Nintendo wised up and realized that might be slightly offensive for the home release. My gosh, I, I was able to knock him out with a super punch real quick, and then and now I just can't do anything at all. Okay, we got enough time. He's going down, and that's a TKO, and that's a title bout for us, and that's that's all fine and dandy. Because now you guys get to experience some of my favorite NES era music. This this tune gets stuck in my head more times throughout the week than I would care to admit. So I'm just going to stop talking for a little bit and let you guys enjoy it in its full glory. I just, I love that song so much. It's like so upbeat and catchy and it's like, yeah, triumphant. You got the title bout, uh, whatever. It's time to fight Don Flamenco, who has a pretty neat, easy trick to him in this first fight. You do fight him again later and he's a little tougher, but for this first fight, there's just a nice, simple pattern that if you follow, you'll win. What you gotta do, he wants you to punch him, so you punch him, you dodge, and then you just left, right, left, right, left, right and just go nice and slow so you don't screw up the rhythm and he'll never come out of this he'll just always be stun locked and you just punch him and you get that sweet sweet knockout oh cat jumped on the microphone dropped my controller through my cat this is oh no it's a disaster i don't have my controller i don't know where it went here it is ah he got me but i got the controller back now okay there we go. So he's like, blah, hit me, hit me, hit me, and then you, he doesn't. He does not hit you back because he's bad. Oh my gosh, that cat has been bothering me all day. Maybe I should show her some affection. Maybe she's just lonely. But maybe I gotta play video games. I gotta play video games for all you good people on the internet because I respect your time and opinion on things. And you're looking quite handsome today. Did I mention that? Yeah, you're looking very, very dapper. That's a thing people say these days. So yeah, he's a joke. I got the TKO. I guess this will be a good spot to call it quits for today. And we'll pick it up with the next fight. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like old video games, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Because there will be more of these. Just uh, specifically comment because I want to find some more people that are into the whole retro gaming. So I can have some more people in my circle that I can talk to about that stuff. So thanks for checking it out. See you next time.